Okay, I've got something really special for you guys. Something that I have, I I can't even remember where I found this at. So I'm going to show it to you. This is a reading. It's an impromptu reading. I got uploaded to the internet. I don't remember if it got uploaded and I pulled it down or somebody sent this to me. I'm not quite remembering right at the moment, but I have a few minutes and I want to show you, show you something fun. Very unusual. This is Maureen Hancock. Um, I have uh, been talking, I, I think I've got one video out on her right now. She is the uh, medium next door. They were trying to do a TV show, trying to get a TV show. She had a pilot. She had a, she had a, a trailer, all this stuff. And, and it looked like she was ready to go. It looks like she was going to be the next big thing. And she didn't. And I've done a video on this before about why I think she didn't do it. And it's because she has a past. She has said that people, she's tried to in, uh, get involved with the police and psychic detectives where she's saying people have lived and now they're dead or they were dead and now they're alive and you know unsolved cases that's what i'm trying to say so she's been involved in unsolved cases she's never solved any but she's but that's always hanging over your head if you were to be a star and then um you know they invest all this money in you the uh, different agencies and then they find out that you have um done one of these cold cases that's been solved and it's incorrect then it can ruin your entire career nowadays with social media the way it is so um i think that's why maureen hancock never went anywhere because she's very talented she's energetic she looks good she's she interacts with people well okay that's maureen hancock she's a massachusetts you can still find her she's she's doing her her thing over there but in a very localized area and it's M-A-U-R-E-E-N-H-A-N-C-O-C-K is her last name. So what I'm going to show you right now, this is an impromptu reading. I have a whole collection of these impromptu readings, which is why I can't remember where I got it from. It looks like she's been talking to this group of women. It's always women. Uh, the victims are almost always women. And she had been talking to them about something. So there's a lot of information that's been collected beforehand. And then... It looks like somebody with the woman I'm about to show you in a blue jacket, one of those puffy jackets, somebody who's with her, like her daughter, picked up the phone and started filming. And that's what I have is this filming. So, so it's going to feel a lot like a cold reading, but it feel a lot like an act. I'm really curious what you guys think about her style. Um, there are things that she's going to refer to in the reading that obviously they'd been talking about before. And watch the interaction with the people around because there's a bunch of other women there and they're kind of looking at each other like really okay. And watch her body language, the woman in the puppy jacket, because I think it's interesting. Now, I've only watched the beginning of this. I have watched the end of it. And I think it's seven minutes long, five minutes long. So let's see how far we can get in. I'll stop and start. But... This should be interesting. Something different. It's not the typical the typical readings that we see, you know, where it's it's edited. This is unedited, which is real fun to watch. Now, did your dad also have a brother passed as well before him, long before? Okay. So there's all these people gathered, and I get him like this my and the different people he got to see. I do want you to know your mother-in-law's right there and I feel like she's making this happen for you because she has a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. And I think you helped take care of her too, even more than some of her own, so she's thanking you for that. They're pointing to your necklace for some reason. They're looking for something. Okay. Okay, your dad must have a great sense of humor because now the heaviness has cleared out and I get, what, was he army or something? Yes. Okay, so he's making a joke and like, nah, 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 he's on a bitch, oh. <laughs> and pulling his teeth out. <laughs> so he's trying to make everyone laugh. He just feels fun to me. When I just said the sunset at the end, that, that was coming through. Did you feel that? Yeah. Or sunset? Yeah. Because I've never said that before. Um, oh, thank you for helping my mommy. I've got that. I like your dad. He goes, I help everybody. <sighs> Who 
didn't get to say goodbye to Dad. Auntie Lou. Oops. Or Auntie Karen. Like if someone got there late, they well, yeah, their I, way, I, I they was the one that was with him and my mother when he passed. My okay. two sisters. So they Did couldn't make their way at that very moment. Okay. Yeah. Here's what I heard though. I heard you. I heard you even though they said, oh, we just passed. And he's funny. I'm sorry. Dry wit. Like I was still warm. I was still in the room. <laughs> I know you have an Arthur, so you'll figure it out later. Well, my mother had an Arthur of, a, of an uncle, but that was long, long Dad is a doornail, and they can come through. Oh, so, and, and see, the thing is, your father just insisted, like, and there is an Arthur here. Like, we're all here. And your father would invite everyone in. So oh, yeah. why the hell not uncle yes, yes. friggin' Arthur? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Does someone have a grandmother? Okay. <clears throat> Fascinating, isn't it? This is uncut. This is very raw. Um, just as somebody's reading that they did. And the woman just feels uncomfortable with the whole situation. There's a, there's a, just, you know, especially since the pandemic, having people touch you. This is obviously before the pandemic. This is probably 2014 or 2015. But that feeling every time I see somebody try to touch somebody, you're just like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> I don't know if you still have that effect on you also, but. <clears throat> okay, so Marina's a very touchy kind of person. She's also she 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 really pushes the humor and folks folkiness, folksly. How would I say this? Folky kind of stuff, hickey hickey folk stuff. With the teeth coming out, she's doing everything she can. She's very physical, so she has a different style, and that's what I like about these psychics. They're all a little different. It's it's so interesting how they develop their style, like a comedian. Uh, they have a different style and actually that's what it is is they've developed their own their own style so she got this something about the the um her father being in the army but we don't really know what was happening beforehand you know what because she obviously knew her father was in the military well of course look at the woman's age her father would have served in world war ii you know easily no problem maybe even somewhere else um she's in her she looks like she's 75 so her father well yeah i guess i guess so probably world war ii but then again think there's military even when there isn't a war and how many branches of military are there navy air force marines army army's kind of the biggest one right so it's not much of a guess but we don't know what was happening before Obviously, this thing about a person named Arthur, that was something that she'd already had a connection to earlier. So she's quite, Maureen's quite interesting to watch. She's very physical. Uh, this looks like it's taking place after one of her book signings or after one of the events they kind of hung out later. And Maureen wants to just keep keep going on with her little act. Um, fascinating. So now, Maureen's kind of drawing a blank on this woman here, one of the puffy, puffy, puffy jacket. Uh, and what she's done is now she's shifting to somebody else, somebody else. And there's other human beings there. So let's shift it to one of them. She says, um, now she's going to go to these younger people and get a grandfather figure because she can't go to a parent because they're obviously young. So grandfather we'll see where she goes with it i don't remember i i can't remember where she goes the other thing i noticed and please tell me in the comments what you guys pick up on that i'm missing that something about a sunshine or a sunset and then she looks at the woman who's filming and she says i've not done, said that before which is an interesting little um little thing you know i, I i'm not quite sure what to make of that i'd have to think about it but I think, you know, they get these, I, I hate to say tropes, but they get these things where they say over and over and over and over that this means that, this means, oh, when I get this, it means that. When I see a phone, it means this. Um, it's also very, very common for them to say who wasn't there in time for his death. That's, that's another one of those really common things that psychics say. And 
then they, they'll say, oh, but he was there because they want to give comfort. Oh, oh, I heard everything. I was there. I was there and I heard what you said to me. Really? Well, what did we say to you, dad? Oh, he doesn't want to talk about that right now. Again, no names. She said the name Arthur, but that's not a hit. At least not really. She's kind of pushing it in there, but um, there's no real names. Why, why aren't we getting any names of anybody? Because she can't give you any names right there. Because they're she's not psychic. Yes, when I just yeah. looked over. More sisters. Oh, yeah. I just want a nice grandma, the tough, but nice. <laughs> yes. You know, like, I want to be heard. I'm like, I'm in the middle of something, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't care. <laughs> I'm all spade is spade. Yeah. So, it, you know, I don't think you have a lot of people pass, but she's super strong uh, as a number one guardian angel. Medical, someone medical. She was a nurse. Oh, yeah, I yeah. saw so white coat and all my medical symbols. Uh, she's your mother's mother. Tell your mother. Your mom's still here, right? Because I heard tell your mother. And where's the four? Four. Does she have four kids? Four of one sex? There's four girls. But there were five. But there's four girls and four boys now. Okay. Our okay. And there was a baby, right? Right. So what, you have a brother pass? No. no our sister. oldest sister. It's not Oh. Baby. Okay. But she was a teenager. Hold on. And this is what happened. That's why your father's inviting everyone in, even the authors of the world and the different ones. And that's where you, well, you get it from your mom too, but definitely, you know, let them in, we'll feed them, we'll find a place they can sleep in, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and somebody was even like either a firefighter or cop as well. Do you know? Was someone a firefighter maybe? Anybody in the room? Somebody? No, I just heard yes, uh, so keep that one and you'll figure it out. Guy doing out. maintenance okay. at the end of the hallway? Anybody? <sighs> Did she pass unexpectedly? Okay. <sighs> She's making a I am trying, but I'm out of oomph. But I can feel her trying almost too hard. Like, I want in. Um, uh, your mom is still here, so tell her that she came through with the grandmother. Who's the cook? Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Is she a D name? Dwyer is the Dwyer is the main, her middle name. And is her middle name? name. Yeah, and if I came to the first, name. they give me the middle, and that's super important for the family. And and, yeah. and was she in a car accident? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, she's right here. She's so, she is so strong because at the end, when I have nothing, I have nothing. And she's like, uh, okay, bitch, you have nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. But she's very sassy. Let's put it that way. Take away the bitch. Because she doesn't want her mother to hear that. She's like, I don't want my mother to hear that. It's okay. So, um, yeah, she's just, she's tough, you know, your, your sister. And just like, I'm right here. That doesn't define me. Um, she wasn't supposed to go in the car or something. And is she L? Or is somebody like a Leah or Linda alive, maybe? Do you know Linda? Do you know Linda? Okay. Oh, shit. Who's the tape of my lady? <laughs> it's just awful. It's just cruel to watch them manipulating the emotions of this new generation let's bring them all into this whole world of mediumship is real and we can communicate with your dead sister who died in a car accident when she was a teenager it just is manipulative oh my gosh you're just making this up you guys so much and these women are gonna leave and say oh my gosh she we went to a Maureen Hancock um, um, lecture and she gave us a whole five minutes of her time afterwards. And she got she got whatever the name of the sister is and knew that she died in a car accident. They probably had told her um, and that how many siblings we had and was naming them all. And she knew all about Aunt Louise or whatever. I mean, it's just what you remember. Is it's you reason it you, you're trying to trying to make it fit so you're it's motivated you know these people who are watching it's a motivated um finding of the hits and forgetting any of the misses and i mean it gets well there's at least three people one two three the camera person and somebody else who's got their purse that was over there's five people there's at least five people right there 
the Marine is able to just, oh, it must be you, must be you. Oh no, is it somebody who here has, the bigger the number, the more it is that they can find a hit. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so hard for me. <laughs> I don't remember what's going to happen, but we've got 30 seconds left in this. So let, let's see, let's see what he ends up happening. I don't know. L or is somebody like a Leah or Linda alive maybe? Do you know Linda? Do you know Linda? Okay. Oh shit, who's the tape of lady? Um, oh no, I don't know. What, is her mother Linda? Linda? Her and her boyfriend both lost mothers. I don't know. No, I'm good, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, please. Go ahead. Um, I just kept hearing that, like Lynn, 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 Lynn. Anyway. Lenny. Lenny. Okay, so you always play to the end of the video because you never know what might be at that very end of the video um, that might come through. And I've seen some interesting things that have happened. So always look at the very end. Manipulating these young women. And that woman in the blue, she is, I don't think she's buying it. I think she smells the BS. Um, she's like, oh, and your mother-in-law, she loves you like a daughter. And she's thinking, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I got. So I don't know about you guys, but very interesting. Um, Marine Hancock, as I said, is just very active, very outgoing, very personable. She's willing to make a fool of herself and do all sorts of flips over and and whatever needs to be done to to sell her reading on these people. Um, the thing where Maureen was talking about, oh, well, what's with the D name, the L name? Well, when you've got a human being in front of you, especially several human beings, we know a lot of people. And so it's not hard to be able to, if they give you an L name, a D name, or a name like Linda or whatever, there's so many hits you could possibly get. Is that living? Is it dead? Is it, well, it was her middle name? It's, anyway. This is cold reading, and this is unedited. So if you were to watch Tyler Henry or John Edwards or John Edward or any of those people unfiltered, this is what it would look like. This is what it looks like whenever they're not under the editing screen. This is raw footage, just meeting people. She doesn't think anybody's going to ever look at this video except maybe the family members. She doesn't realize somebody like myself is going to go and put it up on YouTube and analyze it. It's real interesting. So if you guys have footage out there that you want me to look at, please send it on my way. I'm happy to do so. And these kind of uncut things are really interesting to be able to watch how the medium, how mediums actually do their, their thing. Now consider Maureen has done thousands of readings by this time. So she's, she's got the, the gift of gab going really good she's she's great at that kind of thing so anyway please share please comment please subscribe to my channel would appreciate it thanks all